After we had settled in, we were taken for an exploratory look around the ship. Everywhere seemed spacious and uncrowded. Two levels of sports deck, a cool cafe overlooking the outdoor swimming pool, the biggest ballroom on any cruise ship sailing the seas today, a shop for Norwegian knitwear, just where other ships of similar size would carry 1,000 passengers, the Saga Fjord and Vista Fjord only carried around 600, with a large crew to ensure personal service. He then entrusted us to Peter, who showed us the main dining room, where all the passengers could eat comfortably at one sitting. The barber shop and beauty salon. And the indoor pool with its gymnasium, massage rooms, and saunas. Everywhere I found the kind of facilities that I would expect to find in a five-star hotel. After such a comprehensive tour, we were pleased to join our new acquaintances at Buffet Lunch in the Lido Cafe. They are experienced cruisers too, and we agreed that it was a rare pleasure to be able to choose between a light leisurely lunch on deck or an equally unhurried meal in the main dining room. I lazed in the sun while my wife and our new friends passed the afternoon more actively. In the end, I had to pay for this laziness. Afternoon tea with homemade pastries was such a temptation that I fell. So hard that only a session in the gym could straighten me out. After my workout, I was more than ready for the captain's cocktail party. My wife, unfortunately, was not quite so ready. But no one was worried or hurried. Even after the party, unlike other ships we had been on, there was no crazy rush to dinner. Our friends said that this was just another of the benefits of being on board so uncrowded a ship, where all the diners could easily be accommodated in one sitting. class food, the finest wines from an obviously extensive cellar, attentive waiters and charming company passed the time pleasantly. After dinner, 
I didn't exactly match James Bond at blackjack, but all's well that ends well. When our stewardess brought the breakfast, she also brought a list of the day's activities. Everything from up-to-date feature films to skeet shooting, the selection had something for everyone. Keep your knees, feel like a windmill, like the, like the... That's better. Where you want it to go, way out there. That was good and straight. Once again, sheer comfortable laziness got the better of me. While my wife found a quiet corner in the library to write her cards, around and about us, the life of the ship went on. <laughs> we learnt were members of the crew, stewardesses, stewards, engineers and officers, obviously dedicated to making our crews a memorable one and succeeding. And so to bed, where, relaxing in our stateroom, my wife and I could still not quite believe our good fortune. We just had to pinch ourselves. 